Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you some practical uh, solution to your smart watch. Here we go. I have a Samsung Gear 1 as you can see here. It's modded to Android 4.2 and I love it. Okay, It's actually very good. I was able to last and uh, make the battery last for over 50 hours. Now, 50 hours may sound to some people a lot and then you have to recharge it. I found that there's another solution that actually go hand in hand with adjusting the software uh, Android to Android 4.2. In addition to adjusting the software on a Samsung Gear 1, okay, smartwatch, is to have a battery pack system, okay? So Samsung Gear 1 uses this um, docking system. It's not very uh, practical, I'd say, because you have to, you know, clip it on, take the watch out, but that's how they design it, and that's fine, okay? So, um, then you need to charge them, right? So they come with this adapter, this AC adapter you connect it to uh, USB and all that and then you'll be able to uh, uh, charge it. It will take maybe an hour and a half to charge this uh, smartphone uh, watch. But the problem I find is very impractical. For example, if I'm, you know, uh, I'm on a field where there is no, okay, there is no outlet, what am I going to do? Well, this is why I built my own battery pack system. Now, you can buy one yourself. It costs you between 40 50 bucks. But I built this one, cost me less than 15 bucks. okay? This is actually a, a 9,200 milliamp hour uh, battery, 3.7 uh, volt. Um, this is equivalent to about 34 watt. Now, this uh, Samsung Gear 1 uses about a little bit of over 1 watt, right? Remember, 1 watt is equal to 50 hours of battery life. We now have a 34 watt system. So in other words, this thing, okay, in, in theory, should be able to charge my smartphone uh, for, you know, over 20 times. Okay, I wouldn't say it can charge all, can use all the 40, uh, 34 watt of power. I would say maybe 65% of that can be used, okay? I haven't really test how much I, I can recharge this uh, smartwatch with my, uh, my, uh, um, battery pack system that I made. Okay, I haven't tested that out yet, but I can tell you right now. So far, I've been using it, you know, ten charges, and it still worked pretty good, right? Still charged this smartwatch. So if I keep going according to my calculation, it should be able to charge this for another 10, 15 times. So over 20 to 25 time of charging this um, smartwatch which is awesome. Now, word, if this lasts for about, let's say, two days, I can charge 20 to 25 times. That means, what, 20 times uh, 20? That's like 20 times 2, that's 40 days, right? 40, 50 days. You talk about 50 days worth of uh, battery life. Pretty good. Okay? Yeah, so how it works here, let me just show you. I'm talking too much here about... It, well, I'm gonna have to show you it, right? So what you want to do is, of course, buy one of these um, battery pack system. You plug in, or you build yourself. Okay, you can check my upper right-hand corner on how I built this, or the bottom link. Okay, so you just connect the USB to this, and take off your watch, of course. Okay, and uh, okay. Now, depend on what type of smart watch you have. This is Samsung Gear One, so this is how I charge my okay watch. So then there it is and then what you want to do is the other micro USB plug from the bottom and voila okay and there it is it's charging now how do I know it's charging okay there it is you can see that there is I don't know if you can see that but you can actually see this um, lightning bulb type on the on the on the battery and it will say charging at six, right now 64 percent that's how easy and look how practical it is put this in your pocket and if it's running out of uh, battery, plug it in anywhere you are. You will be able to, you know, keep this thing going. Now the thing is, the one most important thing that a lot of the reviewers on YouTube and all the smartwatch reviewer doesn't mention is that the one important thing of advantage of smartwatch or smartphone is it's actually it's it's shortcoming as well. It's ironic, right? Is that it has a uh, you know it lasts only for uh, you know for less than a day, but if you have a you know, solution, for example, a battery pack, like a small one like this one, this thing can actually last 40 days, right? So because it uses only one watt of power and uh, you plug it into this battery pack system, it is actually, it can outrun uh, a smartphone 
because it has all the built-in app in there, assuming of course you have Android 4.2 or higher. And uh, you know, let's say you have one of the other, I mentioned about the um, Android uh, phone uh, watch, right? Uh, I think it's type three. You can check my uh, bottom right hand corner on the, that, that type of watch. And basically you can call, you know, your, uh, your using your smartwatch anywhere and uh, if you run out of battery, just plug this little device, this uh, smart, um, this um, battery pack system, into it, and it will work. So in other words, your smart watch uh, can last for months without recharging on the outlet. You just use this battery pack system, right? So that is actually the advantage of smart watch, right? So, so that's the thing with smart watch is that its battery life may be short, but you can easily extend it with a battery pack system. It uses only one watt, but yet with a 30 uh, watt plus battery pack system, you can charge this thing for over, I would say, six to eight weeks. Not bad at all. Especially if it's a Type 2 smartwatch, right? Thanks for watching. EducateTube.com.